Hey guys, this is Steven Johnson with Joomla Hosting Reviews and just yesterday they released the latest version of Joomla 3.0 which is Beta 1. So we thought we'd run through a quick install and uh, show you what the front end and back end looks like because you know not everyone's going to have the time to be able to do this. So we were curious, wanted to know what it would do, so here we go. Uh, you might notice there is a new install screen here, um, a little bit different than 2.5 and simplified and cleaner uh, you'll also start to notice a lot of these same elements which is the that is twitter bootstrap which is a, a sort of like a big toolbox of elements and graphic images that people can use and it helps standardize joomla across the board and uh, so now our component developers will be have the same toolbox as regular Joomla and hopefully we'll start to see standardized things across Joomla so anyway that's B Twitter bootstrap what you're seeing here and you'll see a lot more as we go along so let's click next so we got that we entered our information in MySQL I then we have our localhost and get rid of that then we have um, all of our database information and everything there the table prefix in previous versions of Joomla this used to be JOS they've switched it to where it'll be a pre-calculated one or a pre-set one and you can set this to whatever you want which helps improve security so down here we can either back up our old database or we can remove the one so we'll just click remove and we'll go to next and now we're first pre presented with sample data uh, if we want to include that generally I do not install that for sites but since we're doing a demo let's see what it looks like um, we can email the configuration to us which is good and it's going to go to our email address which we set earlier and it can we can determine what if we want to include passwords so we're going to say no there and down here this is everything that we've done pre-installation checklist so here your most important stuff at the top everything else uh, that you will need to know lower in the page so let's click install and so you can see it going through the installer and we are done so let's remove the installation folder and again you're seeing a lot of these elements which again is uh, Twitter bootstrap so that's been removed so let's go to the front end of our website and here we go so here's the front end of our new Joomla 3.0 website like you've seen before this is a standard basic Joomla template not too much there but once we get a new uh, your content added and the template makers get their new templates going it's gonna look pretty shiny But the real magic happens in the back end of 3.0 so let's take a look at the administrator interface okay so here we are at our back end of the new site so let's type in our admin username and password and we'll click log in okay uh, so here we are in the back end of Joomla at the control panel looks a little bit different we have a bunch of quick icons along the side here letting you know that Joomla is up to date the extensions are up to date we can go here to module manager and uh, a little bit different you'll notice that all your filters which used to be across the top here are now down the side here so we um, just makes it a little bit easier to find things and uh, kind of cleans cleans it all up there so let's go back here to system control panel and let's take a look at the article screen so we'll go here to content article manager and you're going to see all of your edit publish unpublish those buttons across the top again we have the filters down the side here are articles here are categories and featured categories so that's a little bit different layout but I think uh, once I'm getting used to it, it'll be pretty pretty sharp so we will click uh, new which is a big green button right up here and here we are at the article layout screen and uh, very clean gives the editor up front and center which is is nice to see uh, we can set our publishing options article options again the use of the Twitter bootstrap stuff throughout configure editor screen metadata options uh, still would have liked to seen the meta title with that hasn't been worked in maybe one day we'll see that and permission so if we go back to our details and we can just type in some text and give it a title 
and we have everything right so let's click save and close so all right so we got an error save failed with the follow invalid parent ID well that's part of being a beta so we'll learn more about that information that error there so we'll just close out of this guy now if we want to go look at templates here's our template manager so we can see all the different things let's see if there's a preview it would show up there and uh, you know the filters bees three the location if it's going to be the site or administrator so again the items that were across the top are now on the the left hand column uh, let's see what else people want to do let's look at the menu manager here we are so if we could say new again the large green button I know it'll be a hard habit to break trying to always going over here to the right side but on the left side will be the save or the open or the new button so we can just put in some text and let's click save and close for a new menu alright so now we have user menu top main menu and our junky one that we just made it's really nice that we can see what module if there's a menu module associated where that's going to be displayed which is good uh, and Twitter icon Twitter bootstrap icons across the top so uh, all in all we're looking really good here um, down at the bottom of the screen you may notice there is a uh, I guess some sort of a toolbar so you can see the visitors admins uh, log out of the site if you want so let's see up here in the left hand corner we can edit our admin account we'll take a look at that okay so we have our name login name passwords email addresses when we set this up so let's close out of this guy and um, you know all in all it's looking really good so um, it's gonna be a different look but I think once everyone gets used to it, it's much more streamlined and uh, cleaner and easy to navigate and hopefully uh, better for all the end users out there, the people that aren't the administrators but just need to do day-to-day -day tasks. So uh, looking forward to it as we test out more. So this has been Steven Johnson with Joomla Hosting Reviews taking a first look at the Joomla 3.0 Beta 1. Thanks.